The Merrimack Women's Club Hockey Team is setting out for a weekend tournament at Rodman Arena in Walpole, Massachusetts. As they pack up at Merrimack, they have a couple of laps and hope for a victory later today. The first opponent in the two-day tournament is Bridgewater State. Although they are not in Merrimack's division, they are thought to be an equal opponent for the semifinal game. The Warriors have arrived at Rodman Arena. There is now only two hours until puck drop. We caught up with a couple of the players to discuss how they prepared for today's game and their thoughts on going into the game against Bridgewater after an upsetting loss to UNH this past weekend. Uh, mentally, I think I just had a good mindset waking up today, got a good breakfast, focusing on the game, getting ready. And, uh, physically, I've been going to the gym all week, resting the legs the last few days, so I think I'm ready, uh, ready to go. Um, I went to the gym all week to prepare physically. And mentally, I listened to music on the way here and got pumped up. Forwards Katie Scott and Paige McGeckrin gave us some insight on their feelings after the loss against UNH. Yeah, so I think the loss last weekend was really hard for a lot of us. We took it really hard, but you know, you just gotta you gotta let the past go. Like, gotta let the past games go. You just bounce back. We worked hard in practice this week. We're just ready to go. Uh, you know, despite our best efforts, the uh, game against UNH didn't go as planned, but I think today we've been working hard at practice and we're really determined to get this win today. After warm-ups, senior forward Amanda Orr was asked what her mindset was going into one of her last career games. Um, as it's one of my last few games with Merrimack, I just want to give 110 percent and just leave it all on the ice. The team is now heading to the locker room to get ready for the game and getting prepared for Coach Donahoe's pre-game speech on forward and defensive strategies, along with some references to the infamous Wayne Gretzky. I'd like to try to take, if we get a power play, and put the umbrella upside down. So, we'll put the center, wing, wing, D, D. That would be our power play. So, win the face off, obviously, and then try to get to position. The idea is, everyone, I know you guys are a little bit young, but Wayne Gretzky, this used to be called Gretzky's office. Okay? If we have a power play, and we can move the puck back here, Whoever the center is on the ice can move side to side and they're going to have to play a box if someone makes the mistake. It's now time to hit the ice and the Warriors are aiming to knock out Bridgewater State.
just about five minutes into the game. The score is still 0-0, but the Warriors hit first and are now up 1-0. Within the next three minutes, Merrimack increases their lead to two. It is now the end of the first period and Bridgewater State is still down by two goals. After two periods, the Warriors are up 3-0, and Coach Donahoe has a few words to say in the locker room. So, what did we do well in the first and second period? I think for the first few minutes, you did well adjusting to a giant ice surface. An Olympic-sized ice surface, which you're not used to playing on, and we adjusted to it. Then you get comfortable with the two goal lead. Now we settle back into habits that we need to turn around in the third period. The challenge that you guys face in the third period is to go out and play to the best of your ability at the level that you're all capable of playing at. And this game will not be in question. Let's go girls. Understand? Let's go. All right, ladies, Let's go. we're good. The Warriors are now up 4-0, and that is the final score of the semifinal game, knocking out Bridgewater State. After the game, we caught up with the Warriors goalie, Fiona DeLuke, and asked what the team had to improve on and continue to do in tomorrow's game. I think tomorrow we really just have to um, look out for those long passes, cross ice passes, um, shorten them up a little bit, really communicate. That's one of our downfalls lately. And I think that if we communicate tomorrow, will be our key to winning. The team is now heading back to Merrimack College to get a good night's sleep and prepare for the championship game at 3 tomorrow. The Merrimack Warriors rested the legs and hydrated in preparation for today's game. They are now heading back to Rodman Arena to face off against Curry College in the championship game. We caught up with defenseman Carly D'Souza and she explained what the team's mindset should be going into today's game and what they should work on. Uh, coming off the 4 nothing win, I think that we need to make sure that we go out there and give 110% right off the get-go, make sure we're forward-checking, back-checking, and just staying all over them. Um, we did a great job of keeping up the intensity and the energy all game yesterday, so all we got to do is just carry that over to today. The Warriors have played Curry before in the first game of their season, which they were unfortunately defeated. They are now going into their last game of the season against Curry to bring it full circle. We caught up with forward Paige McEachern to ask what the Warriors have improved on since the first game against Curry and how they can secure the win against them today. 
Uh, you know, I think coming off the beginning of the season with a loss against Curry, I think it really uh, pushed us, you know, work harder throughout practices throughout the whole season. We started getting momentum with the whole team, just, you know, playing together better as one. Uh, so today I think we, uh, after a win against Bridgewater yesterday 4 nothing, I think we're really determined and we're confident today in the game to get the W. Okay, I, I sent Julia a clip from the power play that happened and I think it was the second period, and it was some great <laughs> passing. Didn't end up with the goal, but it was a fantastic movement of the puck, and everybody, you could see it on my barn, everybody on the ice was speaking to each other before that puck dropped. And that's a huge key to how you can play this game. I hope that every one of you, the seniors, continue playing next year. There's a lot of opportunity. Anybody that lives close, feel free to come on down and be part of the team that helps the team. Do you have any questions, ladies? I don't know if we have to get bucks, but we'll get ready to go. All right, ladies, good luck. <coughs>It's now game time, and the Warriors are aiming to have a championship win under their belt after today. After just over 10 minutes of playing time, the Warriors are down by one. Not far into the second period, the Warriors are now down 2 nothing and have to battle back. They did, and now the score is 2-1, Curry. The game continued, and both teams wanted this win more than anything, resulting in an increased intensity. Just before the end of the second period, the Warriors showed they were going to put up a fight. The score is now tied 2-2. Our four checkers are doing this and just watching. I want you to attack this spot. Get your stick on the ice, put it out, so the worst thing that happens is that you deflect it. Okay? The best thing is you get possession, you get a breakaway. Because they're facing the wrong way, your momentum is taking you to the net. So anticipate that pass. You look up and you see their D looking and their head pivots, you know where that puck's gonna go. And if she fakes it, we still have players here to recover. All right, but we need to do a better job reading and reacting to what they're doing all game. That's why on the bench, I tell you, the most important thing you can do during a game is pay attention to what the other team's doing when they're in this. That's what they practice. They don't practice the three different lines, three different practice plans. They use the same practice plan. They're all going to be taught the same way. Some will just execute better than others. It is the beginning of the third period. The score is tied 2-2, but within 10 seconds of the puck drop, the Warriors finally had their first lead. It is now 3-2, Curry. 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 Curry
warriors. The intensity is heightened, and the Warriors cannot hold the lead for long. Curry battles back, and the score is now 3-3. Regulation ends with a score of 3-3. It is now sudden death. First goal wins. Just about 10 seconds into overtime, the Warriors were defeated, something they never saw coming. Although the Merrimack Warriors came in second place, yesterday's win against Bridgewater State, the commitment of the team, and the laughs exchanged throughout the weekend were unforgettable. It was a tough end to the careers of the seniors, but they had some words for the team looking forward to the 2021 season. We really do need to put 110% out there on the ice because there were so many opportunities this year that we could have we could have come out on top. We were this close. And you just need to put that effort into it and you need to talk to the new people that are going to come in and say, hey, if you're not going to put in that effort, then sorry, but we're not going to have you because this is a really good team and we just haven't come up on top in so many years, in so many years. Yeah. This is the one year that we really we're did come out on top yeah. and, and from the past years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's only up from here. Although they did not win the championship, the bond between the team and the memories made are considered a win alone. The team now looks forward to next season and knows they will have to work even harder and they will come back stronger. Should I say smile? Wave! <laughs> okay, Tyler, okay, that's good. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so how did you prepare mentally and physically for today's game in this tournament? As it could be like in a pattern or no? No, it it's fine. I mean, I can fix it. It's whatever. Okay. Coming off the loss against UNH, how are you feeling about today's game? Um, I think we will come out a lot stronger because UNH was a better team. Now that was bad, bad, it's bad. Fun. Okay, <laughs> I think um, we're gonna come out a lot stronger because we were very sad about the loss against UNH. Stop! <laughs> you can't do that! I know, but Sam just looks so funny when she's serious because she's never serious. Okay, sorry Sam, go. Hey there. <laughs> can't do that. I know. Okay, ready? <laughs> no, I'm not ready at all. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, and we're here live on the bench with uh, two superstars, Sam and Paige. Paige signing uh, skates. So, what type Sorry. of contracts have you both signed? Contracts? Yes. The Merrimack Club Hockey. Yeah, contract. the Merrimack uh, Club Hockey. Uh, Merrimack Club Hockey is it an exclusive deal? No, no cut deal or? Uh, it's a, it's no cut deal. No cut Excellent. Deal. All right, I should be filming. All right, ladies, we're good. I hope that that. Is not an outrageously close up picture. <laughs> <laughs> if you learn where the center of gravity is. Yeah. Okay, where's uh, Ellie? 
Come here, now he's the tallest one. Huh? <laughs> okay? Try to push me from up high. Good, good. Now get down low on my hips. Push on the hips. I'm going to move because I have to. My hips don't lie. Okay? <laughs> All right? Any questions? Questions, comments, concerns? The YouTube channel. I got your wipe in your nose. Wait. <laughs> 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 <laughs>